Jeez. Um, it smells good. Andrew. Though. East Coast Andrew. Stop, Karen. He's hilarious. Okay, what's hilarious? Was he? Not hilarious. What he did, hilarious. What was he hilarious? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. What? I thought what? his sense of humor was really funny. I barely remember his face. I don't even know. Like I'm trying to and think. He like, to I'm come confusing play. him from one to two, Andrew. <laughs> Which one was he? Well, he's he East had Coast. A twin. The old guy oh, had a twin. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. The twin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he sent the twin in. I liked him. I didn't dislike him. Yeah. Who was he having like a little bit of kissy face with? AJ. Yeah, okay. No, they weren't kissy face. Who was the girl? I thought it was hilarious. Who was the 20 girl? minutes or so? That's okay. Who was the girl he was kind of kissing? I don't think he had a kissing girl. No, no. I think he wanted one, but. Okay. He was good. old, huh? Was he like was 30, 34. Late 30s. Uh, I think he's so age. funny. Okay. I thought he was an awesome. Who are you talking about? Did you watch season one? Oh, I didn't watch much of it, no. Uh, East Coast Andrew. I thought it was okay. funny. Oh, I know that guy. He's a beauty. In real life? Oh, I don't know in real life. No. Oh. East Coast Andrew. That was a crazy scene when he had they had to freeze and his twin yes. daughter came out. Yeah, it was yes, pretty emotional. that's what we just talked about. Yeah, that was crazy. It was wild. Okay, who else? What is this? Is that? Purple and the other drink makes no, drink and orange. Right. For me personally, no. It's actually pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a huge stupid set fan watching. She was okay, whatever, but Yeah. I was just picturing that one scene when she like hits her own face in that hockey challenge and she like walks over and she's like, you get what you want, you hillbilly. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like to Tom or whatever. Yeah. Oh, she yeah, hit her Tom. Own. She hit her own? Yeah, I she love hit her Tom. Yeah, okay, I knew you would say that. We called him like a fucking The hillbilly. fireman. I like the villain. I think a villain makes the show good. Okay. Tom was a villain and I, I like that. Well, we've cooked all day. We have any villains in our season? No, no, it's hard to tell. Oh, yeah, there's some villains mixed in here. What was it? It actually smells bad. good. Like, Dylan. You don't know who the villain is until you go home and watch it or something. That was... That was oh, yeah, because Emily, Emily <laughs> said, I need to know it like that. What? No. Do you remember that? What? So it was during the private eye challenge when they were showing Cassandra's video, and Cassandra was kind of cackling. And Emily's like, Cassandra's the villain of the season. Gary did not like that. Oh, no. And Gary's like, you don't know who the villain is till you watch the show, sweetheart. Or, <laughs> oh, it rubbed him the wrong way. <laughs> he did not like that. What, he wanted to be the villain? I don't get it. I, I just, like... I think he was just defending Cassandra. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Are these ready or not? You have to throw a nice load of butter into it with this. <laughs> Huge load, yeah. Butter and everything. The chicken, the... the Butter tastes everything tastes good. Makes everything taste good. Okay, who else? Do we miss? There's a lot from season one that yeah, we missed. We've missed a lot. So Peter far. Brown. Okay, absolutely. Even on the side show, one of the most over the top arrogant. I'm like, I gotta tell that kid off someday. <laughs> <laughs> like he drove me he would just kiss on off. everybody's game on that side show and I'm thinking if he ever says anything to me I'm like what place did you finish uh, where did he didn't finish what, what did, did he, he finish, finish? Oh. he was jury wasn't he what Peter. was he Cav do you know um, he was jury I'm pretty yeah, sure he was like sixth sixth or seventh like, he just is so harsh to everyone. Like, he really is so harsh. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> I think even pressed the butter. <laughs> so that's what you're going for. Yeah, melt so what did in. you think? Uh, Peter, I liked him. I was cheering for him. I'm, while the season was going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I would walk around my house doing the shit. <laughs> I was like... Yeah. I wanted to be part of the shield so okay, bad. Okay, okay. You were part of, of the fortress. I know. By yourself. And by uh, the one person alliance. <laughs> Famous. I'm telling you, the fortress is one of the best brands ever created in this house. The symbol, the meaning, yes. everything. It was Who just... came up with that? Me. Me. Knew it. 
And you were going to see me. You know he's rocking it all season but long. But it was a one-person alliance, and that's where it fell apart. <laughs> but, like, the marketing was well, genius. Well, actually, it should like, have been quite successful. Did you trade her on yourself? <sighs> My alliance is such a dummy. Did you, it, <laughs> for five, for five I mean, it weeks. it should have been pretty solid. You oh, Arissa, I vote to evict. <laughs> Just so heavy, so, just so full of like, just so full of the Kevin juice Aww. in season three. Thanks, Arissa. <laughs> Meanwhile, JP is not doing anything. No. So Aww. it was pretty successful. So cringeworthy. It's just. Oh, it's so, so, so it was successful. <laughs> I mean, we never. It, you didn't betray We never turned yourself, on each other. Did you? Yeah. I was gonna Fortress say. Fortress members never turned on each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> and <to> every vote. <laughs> Every voting process <laughs> is doing the same we, shit. We always were looking after each other. <laughs> you probably, you are, you are, are you in there that, doing yeah. it in the DR now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't done anything in there this season. I bet you Kevin's scared. just fucking... <laughs> every time he votes. I'm too scared. Stop talking about production. It's hilarious. Like, we could have got a user base behind the fortress. That thing would have taken off. <laughs> I love it. Who was okay. in that alliance? I can laugh about it now, but it was cringeworthy when it happened. <laughs> Who was in that? Kevin. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was supposed to be you and JP? Oh, yeah, it was supposed to be JP, but he was laughing at me. What a prick. Because he was hanging out with Zach. And he really likes the kid. Do you? Yeah, we're really good. He's really one of my good friends. friends. I forgave him instantly. What did he say? What did he say? So, Zach. He came and told you. You tell it me. It was this Zach's thing. HOH. Yeah. When he went home. And what, we didn't cover Zach yet. Oh, Zach attack. Oh, yeah, so, like, JP came to me, and then he's like, yo, I'm sorry, like, I've been playing you, like, you've been doing the symbol by yourself. Because he would tell me that he's doing it, too, and we were just, like, laughed about it, but he was totally playing me the whole time. <laughs> and so he came to me, like, two days, because he was really hurt that Zach didn't use the veto on him, so he's kind of like, screw this guy, I want to actually work with Kevin. So he came to me, he's like, you know you've been doing that by yourself, and I was, like, pretty pissed off for a day. One day. Yeah, and then, and then he's like, but now I'll do it. He's like, now, now we're gonna do it together, and then he got blindsided. Was it blindsided. too late? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was too, too late. late. And then, <laughs> then he got blindsided. blindsided. <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm in. Yeah, because he thought he was gonna stay. Oh, oh, hundred percent. Like, yeah. Do you guys know why he had a bagel in his hand when he left? No. So, do you remember when he got evicted? He had a bagel in his hand. Yeah, I don't remember that, but yeah, okay. Because Godfrey oh. and him were on the block, and Godfrey was a have-not, so he yeah. was starving. And JP was no, so convinced no, he was staying. He's like, you know what, Godfrey, like, you're going to get evicted. Nice. You'll talk to Arissa, and then they'll have mm. food for you. Like, he was in his face oh. cocky. Like, he's oh. like, they'll have food for you. And he's like, you know what you should do, Godfrey? He should, he's like, just make a sandwich, and when you get evicted, so grab the sandwich you can eat backstage, because it might be a while before you're Arissa. Like, that's how cocky JP was. So Godfrey made a sandwich and put it right here, and in the sauce, he put a frowny face. Because Godfrey knew that JP was going to get blindsided. So they're like, the vote 5-4, Godfrey, you're safe. He goes, yeah. And what you didn't see on TV, Godfrey says, JP, go eat your fucking sandwich. <laughs> and JP obeyed. He stood up and went and got the sandwich and, that, and walked out the door. And that's why he had a bagel in his hand. Oh, yeah. He, oh, you're talking when yeah. he like, goes to Arissa. Yeah. And then before he goes to Arissa, like, he just does his like, hey. And then... He goes, <laughs> he goes up to the front line of the audience, and there's a little girl. He's like, hey there, like, do you want my sandwich? And he gave it to a fan, and she was like an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> so this girl is holding this bagel. <laughs> like, it was just a, just a disastrous situation for JP. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. So, oh, he was so, sandwich. He was so <laughs> cocky. He was already planning for next week, and like, oh. JP ate the humble pie pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your sandwich. That's so epic. He got played. Hmm. What do you have with this chicken here? What? What's the timer? Right? Dylan. It just went up. Jump in. Look. It just. It's over. It's over. You better look. I'm gonna take out these uh, these tattles. They look pretty sad. They're not looking very happy. It's not usually how you do roasted potatoes. Thank you. <laughs> but. To each his own. To each his own. What were you going to say about Zach? Karen, your feelings on Zach attack? You don't mm. like him? Why not? I just thought, you know, Captain whatever. Canada or whatever, yeah. yeah. 
I, I just don't, I didn't see a lot of the huge personality, yeah. just a lot of ego. Yeah. You know, the all-star football. You'll see, you'll see when you guys get out and you research, when you, when you add, me on, add me on social media, I'm Captain Canada. Okay. Everyone calls me Captain Canada. Yeah. I got a thing downtown Toronto. We stopped traffic for a while out in front of the Rogers Center. Oops. Out in front of the thing center. Big, huge Canadian. This is in. You know, you, I, didn't, I didn't meet Dimitri him. Dimitri met him in a bar. It wasn't a bar. What's your Zach story? Tell him your Zach it was, story. Uh, nah, it was like the, the Audition? auditions. And he was there. And by the time I got to the front of the line... I was pretty sauced up, and he he was like trying to pump up, uh, pump everyone up, like right before when they went in for the auditions or something. I don't remember what I said to him, but it was something like, "Oh, I, you were like, I thought you were way bigger on TV," and then I kind of gave him like a little push, <laughs> and and I mean I was being a, like, at the time, like I I you know it wasn't the nice thing to say, I, and I wasn't trying to take a shot at him yeah. or anything. I was just like said exactly what came to my brain at that moment. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, he just shot me a look and just walked right away. <laughs> and I was like, ah, fair enough, yeah. So, yeah, he's probably not a big fan, but... He probably doesn't even remember it, to be honest. Like, he's probably like, look at this He probably gets asshole. lots of shots. Put it in? Yeah, I don't remember exactly what... But it was something along... It was something a little bit insulting. But, I mean, seriously, like, I thought when these guys walked in, like, they looked bigger or smaller, well, too. Looked, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so, not, I mean, it's not exactly what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah what you, know you know thought. What I mean? Yeah, you get, yeah. He is a pretty big guy, though, isn't he? He looked really big. Remember, he's we had like six, three. in the fashion yeah. show that I, I think when I said that, outfit. I think I meant more like bigger, like not taller. Oh, yeah, he's not super big. No, like he's, he's not. He's yeah, yeah. Shit, but yeah. Okay. Like you're, you're, you're more built than him. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't know why I said it. I just, I was, he's, I don't know. I was like, holy shit! Sure. I was like, you're that guy. And then, and then he's like, and he was kind of like, oh yeah. yeah whatever and then I was like oh man dude, I thought you were way bigger on TV I didn't mean it like in a bad way yeah, but it no. came but it came out really bad and I was like oh shit and he just walked away yeah. which I don't blame him <laughs> just he, walked away oh yeah he just shot me a look and walked away and I was like yeah I deserve that <laughs> okay who else anybody else so you didn't like Peter season one well I just thought again like I don't know why well, I thought good. season three, you know, you were that cocky, arrogant kid that I didn't dislike. But Peter, I don't know what it was. I thought, why is this guy so arrogant? Mm -hmm. Like, I just I didn't know. get it with him. Yeah, everything good. And then to go and watch yeah. the sideshow, I was like, what is with this kid? Like, did anybody else not feel like that? I loved Gary on the sideshow, but Peter, I was like, oh my God, I don't know. I never no. watched the sideshow. Yeah, me neither. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I watched it all the time. Everybody. I heard that he just tore into people. He though. did. That's yeah, what I mean. He's a he cool what? guy in real life. He just, because it's too high. I did and like Tom. something on the stove. You did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah big time. Who? I was a big Tom fan. The fireman. I thought he made the show awesome. He was like the, he got the most airtime out of everyone in Pretty Jury. Like, he was just a huge character. Yeah. He's winning everything. He's on the block. He's picking fights. Like, he was just wild. What about that Danielle girl? Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. The youngest one to ever play. Who? Danielle. She was from, like, Fort Mac. Yeah, she was blonde. Wasn't she, like, first or second? Oh, yeah, she was second. She was blindsided by Jillian or something like that, yeah, no? she was. She, yeah. like, volunteered to go on the block so that she yeah. could Jillian's good side. And then... Yeah, that's Bye. rough. She was so pissed. Yeah. How old was she? I think she was like the youngest player, like just to 19 or 18 or 19, I think. Wow. Very young. Yeah, I think youngest ever played. Favorite. No, Paige was young. Paige I think was God. 19. God is like my favorite but player to watch. Oh, man. So I don't really remember that. So funny. He had, a, he had a good sense of humor. Oh, yeah, he did. I loved him. He was one of my favorites. I could just tell he would be larger in life, funny as shit. Oh, yeah. I just knew it. Was like that guy, and then Bruno's like he's really good friends. They're really good friends, yeah. And they, he does his still the magic trick in the bar kind of stuff. Yeah, that's funny. Oh. His pickup move or yeah. whatever yeah. that was. Yeah, that's Godfrey's move. Funny. How old is Godfrey? Uh, I think similar age to me, like 24, 25. Yeah, hey. 
I don't talk to him at all, but. No? Yeah. Maybe now. Maybe now we'll touch Because it's Brew. No. Who did you not get along mm-hmm. with on your season? Bruno. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. We were just, yeah, enemies, yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. We didn't talk to each other. Yeah, we didn't like each other. That's funny. That's really funny. Who, have you decided who you're taking? Just having a big old family supper. You've been cooked. It was funny because when Cindy was practicing for that three minutes, she was like, I'm going to pretend like it's a car commercial. Oh, really? And that's how she would recite everything. Yeah, she did say that. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, a purple mix. drink and an orange drink mixed together. It's pretty good, though. It, it, does, does, it, it tastes very yeah. good. Look at it. It doesn't look very good. It's pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> Once you get past the... Uh, oh. I'm gonna try it. I'm sure it is good. It's what the orange and the purple. Mm. That tang stuff is delicious. The purple drink is good. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. It actually smelled good, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Your asparagus is getting overcooked. Dylan kind of, Dylan kind of saved it. it was going, the your meal was going in a bad your direction. Asparagus, <laughs> your asparagus is getting overcooked. It's done. You can turn it off. Yeah, it's done. It's going to be off.